In 2017, France 24 had interviewed Julius Ayugtabe in Nigeria. He's one of the leaders of Anglophone Cameroon separatist movement. But now he's just been sentenced to life in jail along with nine of his supporters for terrorism and secession. This is what he was saying two years ago. We are going to separate. We have restored our independence. We are going to discuss the terms of that separation and then we'll build a wonderful nation that I would invite you in a few short years to come and be witnesses to what we are saying today. The military court's decision surprised many analysts because Tabe was viewed as one of the more moderate separatists. This verdict could lead to a rise in tension in the already restive region. Recently, Tabe had said he was open to holding talks with the government. We reached out to several ministers, but they did not respond. The separatist lawyers made this announcement. I will personally advise them to go on appeal because it's a total nullity. All what the court did, from start to finish, it's a total nullity. And if the court of appeal cannot quash this judgment, then we are not in state of law. Since late 2017, armed separatist groups have attacked police stations and schools and carried out kidnappings. The army, meanwhile, has been accused by human rights NGOs of committing atrocities against civilians. According to the UN, these last two years, 1,800 people have been killed in this conflict. And 530,000 Cameroonians have had to flee their homes.